Yeah. Hi, guys. This is Charles. I'm one of the surgeons at the Animal Emergency Center in Mel uh, Moorabbin, which is a suburb of Melbourne. And I was previously live streaming a revision or debridement of a failed advancement flap. Um, and so I did the laser therapy on somebody, one of our viewers' um, suggestion, which I think is actually a great application of laser. So we've done the laser, and now we're back, and I'm placing my loops for my tie-over bandage. So basically what we're doing is we're putting in uh, loose loops that then we can thread um, sutures through. I'll zoom in a bit more so you can see what I'm doing a little bit more closely. So if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel. Make sure you turn on notifications so you'll get a ding on your phone the next time we live stream. All right, so I'm just placing some loose loops here. Can you click on the, um, so slide over uh, on the bottom, slide across, other way, yep, and then the Y, the one that looks like an inverted Y, and see if we're connected. Yep, we're live. Okay. Okay, and then go back to the quote, please, or the bubble. And this will make huge strides in healing probably in about three weeks. And the key to putting loose tie over sutures is to keep tension up like this as you pull it tight. And then put your throws on top. Um, I don't use insulin with my honey. Um, that's just not something that I've, that I've ever done. If you're aware of research that suggests that that's helpful, I'd be interested to hear about it. Because if that's something that I should be doing, I'm happy to do it. Thank you. For some reason, this needle on this OPDS is smaller, which I love. I love a small needle. Seems like it's smaller. Oh, that's 2O over there. That's O, yeah. Yeah, so that's a, I think it's a small one. Yeah, it is a smaller needle. I like a small needle. The other thing that you could consider doing here would be what's called gradual mechanical dermal apposition, which we may actually do in this case, which is a really cool thing where we just do a simple continuous suture pattern, and then every day we tighten it, tighten it a little bit, um, and that'll gradually pull those skin edges together.
Hi, Avery Tropic. Glad that you're finding these videos interesting. I'm sorry that you won't be able to follow your dream of being a veterinarian. Hi, Saudi Arabia, and I think I saw Brazil there before. Can you slide that down a little so that I can see? I think I missed a comment or a question. Go the other way? Yep. Um, so the bandage will be changed in 48 hours, and we'll see what it looks like at that time, and then decide probably after that bandage change in 48 hours, we'll go uh, three days, so 72 hours, and then see how it looks at that time. And at some point, the owner is going to have to start doing um, yeah. hydrotherapy, so just lavaging the wound at home, which she is a little bit reluctant to do. But I think once, yeah, once she gets used to it, she'll be fine. Tiny little bit of suture here. And do we have that's all right, I'll try to try to make do with this one. Not gonna be easy. Suture end is. Okay. All right, so now we will get a melalin. Can I get a melalin, please? Pull this one, let's go ahead and drop it on the table. And I'm trying to take out any unneeded suture because I don't want, you know, I want to avoid any foreign body in here that's going to potentiate an infection. That one is still doing something, I think. Do you need one more? Uh, no, no, that'll be fine. What's that for? Okay. Oh, we'll use that. We'll use gauze. All right, so I've got my honey here. Let's put some on some toast. All right, so then I'll pack that in here. Smells so good. All right, and then I'll use a lap sponge. Cut off the x-ray tape. So I might get somebody to come around and just hold on to this. Come around that side. 
Just keep some pressure on that. And where is the umbilical tape? Here we go. I don't, yeah. Um, doing an enucleation, I usually don't remove the fat from the eye socket if it's connected. If you have loose fat in there, then obviously that's something you'd want to take out because that will necrose. Do a couple more top and bottom. And last one. going to put in one more. Uh, did you, uh, did we open a, yep. I'm just going to do one more little skin suture here. I beg your pardon? Yeah. That's all right. You anticipated what we were going to need. I don't know. 
All right. Um, so a patch of Bactigrass, I don't know what that is. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I, it's not something I've ever used before. Um, I'm just going back to make sure that I haven't missed any questions. I think that's pretty much it. All right, so if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if um, you know of anybody else who'd be interested in watching our channel, make sure that you share it with them. Um, thanks a lot, and we'll see you.